Wonderful good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you here at the public forum at the group exhibit Hydrogen Fuel Cells and Batteries. My name is Mona Lee and I'll be your moderator for the next 20 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. Let's see how many questions you have. This is our last presentation for today. So I welcome you to have a seat, enjoy this presentation. You can also have a free coffee, it's all in the house. There are two or three lovely ladies walking around and they will be serving you with complimentary drinks. Uh, we will be talking about Maximator's H2 technology. Um, in detail, we'll be talking a new compression technology. Uh, for that, please welcome with me on stage the Vice President of Maximator, Mr. René Himmelstein. Hello. Welcome, Mr. Himmelstein. Thank you. Yes, don't be shy to participate, don't be shy to ask any questions and come and have a seat if you're browsing around. This is really our last talk. We still have some open seats here. Also at this time, I would like to say hello, ni hao, konnichiwa to all our online guests. We are live streaming from the fair, so uh, it's not only uh, you watching us, but many more online. So, Mr. Himmelstein, um, Maximator is uh, quite new here at this fair and is also quite new into the hydrogen business. Uh, could you please let us know where the company Maximator originated from? The company uh, Maximator original is from the schmidt Kranz Group. Uh, the schmidt Kranz Group is a very old uh, company in Germany. It's the fourth generation already and uh, uh, it is mainly active in the mining industry, yeah, but we are also going into various different hydrogen applications now. Yeah. Okay, so what, what is the core business? The core business for Maximator is actually high pressure uh, business. So we are talking about 25,000 bar, not PSI. Yeah. We have been heavily involved in the diesel industry and everybody knows that the diesel market is slightly going down. Yeah. So therefore, we have decided to explore new applications and that's the reason why we are going now into the hydrogen business. So when did you start um, for, uh, foreseeing a future for the hydrogen market? Actually, we started already 2006 with small compressors, with small filling stations. Yeah. Uh, but now it's the right time to go into the real stuff, into the real business. And uh, since 2006, we are working on that. Yes. But now we have the possibilities to build also even bigger systems. So you started uh, with the hydrogen technology way before the diesel scandal uh, back in 2006. So, but why did you move into this direction? I mean, why, why do we move in this direction? We are looking all the time for niche markets. Yeah? And hydrogen is at the moment still a niche market. And we try everything to make it successful in the future. And Therefore, we are coming out with all these new fancy components and... Tell us more about the new fancy components. What touch points uh, does Maximator have with hydrogen technology? I mean, bef before we are going into the fancy components, uh, uh, I have to explain you a little bit that we have opened a new company last year, uh, November last year. Uh, we opened the MAT in Vienna. MIT? Not MIT, <laughs> unfortunately not. Uh, but you can remember back, maybe in 10 years, everybody's talking about the M18 or the MIT, you never know. Huh? And uh, we have a group of seven people over there, really specialized people, and therefore uh, they have a lot of experience with hydrogen filling stations from the past. Huh? And uh, therefore they're creating new components uh, for the future. And what, so are you, they, you said mentioned that they have uh, experience with hydrogen fueling station. Is that uh, your new focus? It's not the main focus, but it's one of our new focuses. That's for sure. And uh, uh, therefore, we have also the possibilities with in China and North America 
so we can build also this maybe these this hydrogen filling stations also in China or North America. So you mentioned China and North America, those are huge markets. In which markets are you active? Uh, we are active in all these markets, so we have 24 partners around the world. Yeah? Uh, we are in total 700 people. It's also important for you guys to know that we are not a small company. We are a typical German Mittelstand company. Yeah? And uh, our focus is clearly also uh, the export markets. And what we are trying to do as well, uh, we are doing business also with, for example, Great Wall. It's a good example. Yeah. Yeah? We do it directly with Great Wall without any other uh, partners in between in China. So we're in China. Do you have an office in China? Or? We have not only an office, we have a workshop. Uh, we have uh, 6,000 square meter over there. And uh, we do have professional people. Yeah? And in addition to that, we have opened the Maximator Academy. It's ongoing. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And uh, then we train also people in other countries around the world yeah, with our own Maximator Academy. Ah, so you're using your knowledge and transferring it to Absolutely. your um, yeah to your other markets. And you mentioned that you have 160 employees in in your Shanghai office. Right now we have 160, and it's growing. Yeah, yes. we have uh, six other yes. small offices around in China. Yes. Yeah. So I would say we are well prepared. Yeah. Uh, you are in fact well prepared and not only that you are investing in uh, training and also uh, in uh, offshoring and internationalization, but also your company invests in innovation. Yeah. And there's one uh, quite new invention that we would like to um, introduce to the audience today. It's the max compression. We call it max compression. It's a new H2 compressor, yeah? and uh, if you ask me, it's one of the best machines which you will can buy in the future. Yeah? Uh, at the moment, we are doing the testing for the ceilings and for all the components. Yeah? And the first quarter of 2019, you can buy this compressor in the market. Okay, so there's a new hydrogen compressor yeah. that uh, your company has developed. It's still undergoing testing. It will be available next year. What is so special about this compressor? Uh, it's so special because nowadays the biggest problem is the OPEX discussions with all the hydrogen filling stations. Uh, so quite often you have, to, you have to send service people out, they have to repair the compressors and all that. What we have uh, developed, not me, my, my team in Vienna, um, it's an automatic seal exchange, which means you have a revolver and you have four gasket sealing uh, packages in this revolver. And if the uh, leak detection is saying, hey, the leakage is too high, uh, the revolver is doing a repositioning and then we are changing these sealing packages fully automatically. Uh. So, this, so I understand that um, a compressor needs the exchange of the ceiling. You do it automatically. How often do you need to exchange it manually with uh, common compressors? Normally, I would say after 500, 600 hours. Mm -hmm. yeah. But now you, have, you can run it four times longer, and this okay. is a big advantage. Okay. Yeah. Uh, In terms of efficiency, what is the efficiency of the max, maximator compressor? So now maybe everybody wants starting laughing, but it's 100 percent yeah? uh, what we have done. And uh, it's an air-driven compressor. Normally, air-driven is uh, actually not that good. Yeah? But with all these uh, thermodynamic uh, features, what we brought into the compressor, we can really achieve 100 yeah? percent. And this is also good for the environment. Yeah? If you have a leakage with a, a Hydraulic driven compressor, uh, it's a big issue. Yes. Yeah? So therefore, we have also covered this subject. So it's air compressor as well. Are there any questions from the audience at this time? You can raise your hand and I'll come down to you. And also, you can see it on our booth, by the way. Yeah? There is a model, a mock-up. Yeah? And my guys, they are standing over there. Yeah? They will explain you everything. and. Uh, I would like to know more uh, about the, uh, your hydro business. So you have a compressor that is um, at a pretty far stage of development. 
And you also mentioned that you're interested in fuel, uh, uh, sorry, in hydrogen stations. Um, so will the compressor be available to other players in the market or are you planning to integrate it just for yourself? That's a good question. Uh, it's not finally decided if we are selling it into the market uh, or if we sell the complete filling station. But at the moment, it looks like because we want to push also the hydrogen business, we want to support and help. Uh, so most probably, we will send it also directly into the market and maybe also to competitors. Uh. And uh, who do you think has the most, who will be mo more most efficient by implementing the compressor? Well, Which type of industry? Yeah, it will be mainly for the hydrogen filling stations, but you can use this compressor also for other gases. Yes. Yeah? Not poison and gases, but the rest is yes. okay. Yes. Yeah? And also, we have a lot of inquiries already from the oil and gas market. Yeah? So it's not purely for the hydrogen business. Okay. Yeah? The, the current fueling station that you have is running by a regular compressor. Yeah. Uh, so there's one thing I would like to know, because as a supplier, uh, most likely, um, the business is driven by the OEMs. Yeah. Um, so I would like to know how large would the order need to be in order to be successful for your company? So it's a, a win. What do you mean exactly? Um, so um, in terms of the amount that needs yeah. to be ordered for yeah. the compressor, yeah. what kind of number are you thinking of? 10, 1,000, 100,000. We are flexible. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> if somebody wants to order 500, no problem. Yes. Uh, yeah. And how fast can you deliver? Depends. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but normally, I would say the ramp up will be not that fast. Uh -huh. uh, it will be slowly. Yes. And we have also a lot of partner companies which can deliver to us also packages. Uh, that's what we normally as well do. And, so therefore, everything is, is open. And the good thing is that my owner, Dr. Glintz, uh, if I tell him tomorrow, hey, we have to build 1,000 compressors, yes. it's not a big issue. Then he's giving me the money, and then we go further. Yeah. It's what you mentioned, that your company is reinvesting uh, all, all the profit that you're making, that your owner is reinvesting in the company. Yeah. And that's why you have the ability to uh, uh, invest in innovation. And it's research. a combination of everything. I mean, as I told you, the, the owner is giving us the money back. And, uh, but we are also dynamic, Maximato. Yeah? And he sees what we have done over the last uh, 20 years. Yeah? And uh, of course, he's all the time also really interested to go into new markets. And what I have forgotten to mention, we, we are coming out with another two companies yeah, uh, beginning of next month. One company is looking into hydrogen storage yeah, okay. and uh, uh, they will prepare the hydrogen storage packs okay. also for trucks and trailers and all this stuff. And another one is a, a, a company called Testnet. Everybody knows it here. Yeah, Testnet is quite well known. And we are creating a new company, and then we can test big uh, tanks from the hydrogen cars and trucks and all this. So at the end, we can deliver everything from A to Z uh, for hydrogen. So yeah, it's really true. You can deliver everything from A to Z. You have the tanks, you have the a fueling station, you also have the compressor, uh, you have the testing. Yeah. Where is the electrolyzer? Electrolyzer, we are not touching that. <laughs> So as Maximato, we are not touching that. So I want to be open for the future. And the best would be if we can work together with all the electrolyzer companies. Uh, and one thing is clear, if we have a very good uh, filling station, uh, we can send it to, uh, sell it to all of them. And yes. that would be definitely the best. What I really like about Maximator is that you're not only looking for profit, looking for niche markets, but also think about how can we transform our own operations. So you mentioned that you are having, uh, doing salt mining, yeah. and you also want to implement the hydrogen technology there. That's true, and uh, we are at the beginning of that. Yeah? Uh, we want to uh, install fuel cells into dumper tracks, into diggers and all this stuff. Yeah? So we are running our own salt mine in uh, uh, East Germany. Yeah? So we want to build up also a hydrogen infrastructure inside the salt mine. Yeah? So this is all on the agenda, and we are working on that as well. That's true. 
how, 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 what do you think? Will, will the core business of Maxim Media transform or is Hydrogen just another branch or just a trial and error project? I mean, it's getting more and more important yeah. what we see outside with all the inquiries which are coming in. Uh -huh. And it could be maybe in the future that we are creating a new company called Maximado Hydrogen Solutions. Yes. Uh, and uh, nobody knows yes. right now. Okay. Uh -huh. So what else uh, uh, is the company doing to drive uh, towards a zero emission um, yeah, operations? Uh, again, we are, we are trying many things. Uh, and. Uh, uh, we have other things ongoing, but this is still confidential, so I can't talk about that right now, maybe next year. Yeah. <laughs> and, and next year, we definitely go also a little bit more into the technique, and then we can explain a little bit how uh, or why the components and the compressors and all this stuff are so efficient. Yeah. Yeah. So we got a really uh, broad overview on your company. Um, if you have more questions for Mr. René Himmelstein, you can um, visit him and his colleagues, uh, very friendly people, at his booth. Your booth number is B50. It's B50, yeah. Yes, uh, but b before we come to an end, I would like to know, since it's the first year here for you, what are you looking forward to? It's the first day of the fair. Uh, what, what do you want to take home on Friday? On Friday, 25 projects would be good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, for the first day, it was really good already. Yeah. Yeah. We have had many, many pot potential customers on our booths, yeah. and we are really happy to be here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, and next year we're definitely coming back yes. yeah? mm -hmm. and maybe we go also to Las Vegas or wherever yes. yeah? and uh, next year uh, well we also uh, you mentioned Las Vegas so uh, the hydrogen fuel cells and batteries fair is not only exhibiting here in Hanover uh, Hanover Messe but also uh, we started exhibiting in the United States uh, last year we were in Las Vegas mm -hmm. and then um, this year we will be in California yeah. California also important market and you're already there absolutely so Maximator is a company that is really prepared. If you do have more questions, you can um, visit uh, them at the booth. Once again, it's number B50. Thank you very much. That was a wonderful talk, and I'm closing the public forum for today. Thank you.